ready for the day and we got out the door and I got water on my butt. Oh dear. My well, whole pants are wet. Do you see it? So now I have to run home and put new pants on. We're already running late. Now my pants are wet. I gotta find new pants when I already had a mental breakdown that my butt that I couldn't find any pants so this morning. So oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, I realized we never said where we were going or anything. It's just me having a wet butt. <laughs> in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, it would be he just got out of the butterfly thing i think harbor did not like it i mean he did not like it he, <laughs> yeah, just, he just didn't care <laughs> he's too young but we didn't want to stay in there too long because we thought there would be less people than there was and we thought that we could take the stroller in and we couldn't so we're only in there for like what three minutes yeah we like caught a okay. butterfly and then we left that's okay but now so yeah now we're outside just walking the gardens there's like not really any flowers yet but <laughs> it's still fun so basically we saw no butterflies and there's no flowers the cutest boy the cutest boy in the whole wide world i actually lied there's some flowers right there and just like that we are home we are in a change of clothes because Abby changed into the wrong pants when she had her blowout. Babe! <laughs> her water blowout, sorry. And so, I don't know, we just thought it'd be more comfy. I have something embarrassing to admit to you all. I'm wearing skinny jeans. Yeah, those aren't in style anymore. Everyone is welcome to come for me in the comments. These are my last pair of skinny jeans that I own. I think someone poo pooed. Uh oh, I smell it too. I smell it! Someone's upset. He doesn't want me to change his poopy diaper. Oh, honey. You can have some milk after this. You're probably hungry, huh? It probably is. Julia's wearing skinny jeans. I'm wearing one of her crew necks and leggings because I just want to be comfortable. It's like been getting warm here. Like it'll tease us. It'll get warm and then it'll like get cold. And it hasn't been very fun. So I always want to like dress for summer and spring, but I can't because this is what will be warm right now. I really need to clean out my purse. My purse literally probably weighs I'd say 15 pounds. That's a lot for a purse. See what I can find in there because I know that there's a lot of weird stuff. And then I can fit some diapers and wipes in there because we've been carrying each our purse and each a diaper bag and it's kind of annoying. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to feed this boy and then I'm going to clean up my purse. So if you want to see what's in my really messy purse, stay tuned because I'm going to expose myself on the internet once again. Once again. <laughs> I do it every- I expose myself on the internet, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, like what's in my purse? Hmm. I don't like you were saying you were showing some, some secret stuff. I might be. I love you. I love you. I love you. Say, I love my mama. You, I love you. Yeah? That's so amazing! Say, I love you! Can you say mama? Mama? You so happy boy? 
We'll get him to say it. <laughs> yeah, we will. He's pretty much saying it. It's crazy. Yeah, you can do good. You are so smart, sweetie. Such a special oh. boy. All right, little Harbor boy had to have an outfit change as well because he spit up on his onesie. Is it true? The other day we were talking about the like products that we regret buying, and there were actually quite a few products that we were like we should not have bought that. Well, I guess not should have bought them, but they're kind of like a waste of money because right. we don't use them. Yeah. And so we were thought it would be funny to like talk about all the things that we regret buying. When we were out, we realized that we both hate our stroller. Our stroller sucks. <laughs> it's like we look dumb in front of all the other seasoned moms too. Yeah. Like whenever they're like putting their stroller out and they like just pop it Literally. out. Did you see the lady who pulled up next to us? She went like this and it pulled it out of her car and it immediately went into position. She didn't unfold it. She just and went like this. <laughs> and then it's just like it, the wheels stick constantly. Yeah. So as I push it, it goes like this. <laughs> yeah. I had thought about getting a more expensive stroller and I was like, there's no way that it can be that much of a difference, but clearly it is. So yeah. I might just spend the extra money and get a we really different might, one. Yeah. I literally, okay, you guys know that I bought the LV like, I don't know, how, like a few weeks ago. I hate this pump as well. This pump was okay. Like, yeah. it just slowly stops working, and then yeah. in the middle of the night, you're one nipple suctioning, the other one's not. It drives her crazy. It, I go literally psycho. <laughs> so, regret buying this. Don't buy the Bella Baby pump. It's it's so cheap, you know? And that's yeah. why we bought it, and there, it has really good reviews, actually. I think just because it's so cheap, and maybe we're just dumb, and we don't know how to use it. But I don't no, think so. No, the, the pieces drive me crazy, because there's so, so many little many pieces, pieces, and if you don't get it on perfectly, it doesn't suction. I also regret buying little baby shoes, because, like, who's gonna wear baby shoes? Not well, him. It's, okay, I, I see people always talk about your baby's never gonna wear baby shoes. Don't buy baby shoes. It's right. a waste of money. And I always thought, that's stupid. He's gonna wear baby shoes. Like, obviously, he's not walking around. He but can't even keep his socks purposes. on. This, we, I, this is like $50. This sleep you stuff. bought it. I didn't even buy it. Well, I got an ad for it. I was suckered for a good ad, you know? If I see a good ad, I'm like, all right, bought it. <laughs> Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like weighted. It's got this like gentle like sand in it So it's supposed to like soothe them as yeah. they're laying there But it doesn't work and also I don't like I think they have one that well I know they have I think one this is for older has... babies. So maybe we'll like it down the road I don't know. Well, I said it was for his weight. He, he likes, likes his arms straight down like this. The okay. other thing that I Regret buying this is for me because I breastfeed is a breastfeeding pillow If you're gonna buy like a breastfeeding pillow just buy a cheap breastfeeding pillow or a neck pillow <laughs> oh yeah buy a neck pillow what is this called where is this from the snuggle me brand breastfeeding oh. pillow do not get me wrong i love the snuggle me lounger that we got yes, we use that use that, a lot. that was a good money spender because yeah. we use that literally the first few weeks especially if you have a c-section you can't be getting in and out of bed lifesaver but the breastfeeding pillow i never used it i've never used it ever you've tried i've tried to, and i hate it but you never like go through with them. Yeah. Bought a ton of swaddles mm -hmm. before, um, which was a good thing. And honestly, we used most mm -hmm. of them, but the muslin swaddles, we are like last resort, only if we haven't done any laundry. Or as burp rags. <laughs> or as, yeah, we honestly use them more mm -hmm. as burp rags. The swaddles that are good are the stretchy ones. The stretchy Those ones. ones are so Even much then, I like the Velcro ones for at night because then he can't like wiggle yes. his way out. We do use Velcro swaddles at night a lot because it's so easy to put together and he never wiggles his way out. So those yeah. are nice. But during the day, if we're going to use a swaddle, we only use the stretchy ones. Yep. The other thing, I don't have an example to show you, but scented diapers. Oh my gosh, he got the worst rash. Yes. So bad. We don't use that. Well, actually, I didn't even know they were scented when we bought them. That I was the know there was a difference. And I, I was like, why do they smell like baby one. powder? And then I didn't think anything of it. And I'm really sensitive to like laundry detergent and like yeah. bath bombs and stuff like with scents in them. I use like all natural soap yeah. because my skin gets really irritated. So I should have known that his was going to get irritated yeah. too. But once we switched to the all it went natural, away, yeah. we did the Pampers Pure and then it was all fine. Yeah. So. Yeah, and now we're ones. using the honest diapers too and those ones have been fine. Both have been, e I would say, equally fine. Yeah. Maybe we should make ones that we really, really like, like baby products we love. Right. We should make that video because that, I think, is our number the one. The Snuggle Me and the Owlet are my two favorites and the hat. Uh, well, I have in our description, I've said this before, I have a list of the baby products we like and we're constantly adjusting it. Um, yep. But if you guys are ever interested in any baby anything. products we like, it's always going to be in the description. It is time for me to come to terms with my purse. I'm gonna go through it and show you all the crazy stuff I find in here because I feel like it's gonna be a lot. First thing I have in here is bark bags because you never know when you're gonna bark. You gotta keep those in there. <laughs> no, this is a weird OCD thing you guys don't wanna know. Are you keeping it in there? 
You're still a people, you have to be honest. I don't know yet. <laughs> this paperwork, oh, actually this is good to have. This is what my, I, <laughs> I read diarrhea and almost said, <laughs> this is what my diarrhea, <laughs> this is what my OB gave me <laughs> that says that I, what I can take while breastfeeding for like, Medication. Medication. Highlighter? Like, I. why would I need a highlighter? Why do yeah, I have this? Why, why do I have this? Why did you put it there? I don't know. That's a thing. It just accumulates You're crap. You're planning on highlighting things? Maybe I am. Big thing it comes that I have not really taken. I would take them when I was pregnant. I haven't taken them since. I guess that's kind of good to have, though. This is from Ooh. Harmons. That was from a long time ago. Harmons. Oh my gosh, this was from December 2019. 2019? <laughs> yeah. I'm not what? even joking. You can barely see you it. You haven't received your first of December 2019? Yeah. <laughs> uh, apple juice? Oh, applesauce. I always have to have a mini Sprite in my purse because you just never know. You just, you just never know. You never, and, and Sprite's going to help you out? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Another OCD thing of mine is I need to have a lot of alcohol swabs. I grabbed these when I was in labor when we left to the hospital. I literally just like grabbed the whole box and threw them in my purse. I have a lot. I've used a lot actually. They're kind of convenient. So yeah, at the hospital they kept getting mixed up all your nausea stuff in theirs. They kept thinking that your bark bags were their bark bags. Wait, really? When? Ever all through the whole thing. No. You were always holding a bark bag in your hand the whole time. No, bitch, I bring my own. Everything in your purse has to do with throwing. Up. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Wallet, because I need money. Car keys, because I need to drive. And a pizza pie cafe free medium dessert. <laughs> Do you think this still works? I don't know. We should try. When I bought this purse, Julia bought me a like organizer to go inside of it. Like this. It's kind of convenient. It's nice. Because if you look on the inside of my purse, it's literally just a big giant hole. Okay, well now I'm going to try and organize all this because I really want to be able to put like diapers and wipes and everything in here. Trash. Hey, write me a love song. Cause I know you'll make it beautiful. Okay, this actually looks better. So I did diapers, wipes, this is like medications. This is just like Aleve and Nauzine. Obviously some snacks. I got alcohol pads and sanitizer, gum. And then I put my keys and my wallet just in this little like pocket right here. But I'm gonna throw this in. I don't know. Is there anything else that I should put besides diapers and wipes? I don't know. That's I mean the main thing we can yeah. use from the diaper bag. The other big thing is a change of clothes. Oh yeah. But that might be a little extra. Yeah, I'll just leave it. <laughs> now I'm gonna do mine. I bet you that you won't have anything as cool as me like the two. No, I won't because because <laughs> your purse is huge and my bag is much smaller. It's very thin. Yeah, wallet, obviously, mask. I have a lotion in here. I never use it. AirPods. Jeez, all this stuff I need. What the heck? I, I have measuring tape in here. I guess that's a little silly. I feel like that's not silly. You go to Home Depot. I measure time. things constantly. I always need this. I always use it. Next thing that I wanted to do was throw everything that's in the car in the washer because we have some backup like car seat covers and things that I wanted to throw in the washer. Did I have a lid? What just happened? <laughs> Good afternoon, Dean. Good afternoon, Frank. Where do you think you're going? Frank, you would have hated the butterfly museum. Yeah, Frank would have hated it. You don't really like bugs. You don't really like anything, huh? Dean, Dean would have loved it. She would have tried to eat them. Though. Oh, remember when she ate a snail? Yeah. That was really bad. Or, or was it grasshopper? She did both. Oh, nice. That's so amazing of you, Dean. Thank you. When we first got Dolly, I was shocked because I came out from like our steps at our old place. And I was like, what is she crunching on? It sounds so crunchy. And I pull it out of her mouth and it's a huge grasshopper, like this big. Ugh. She's just chomping on it and ugh, it was so gross. And then she ate a snail one time. I wonder if it's a dachshund thing. I don't know, because one of my dachshunds growing up also ate a snail and it was horrifying. Can you say hi to the viewers? Say, I love my Dean. Say, I love my Dean. Yeah, there's my Dean that I love. You showed him your smile. <laughs> no, I love you so much. You sleepy boy. Yeah, it's time for your afternoon nap. This outfit is so cute. I bought it for him for Easter, but then I put it into him sooner. Put it into him? Jeez, I can't talk. I put it on him sooner because you look so cute. Are you the cutest thing? Yeah. Do you have anything to say for yourself, panda? I just have to say that I love my wife and I'm just very blessed. Be married to her. Wow, I was expecting you to say something dumb. 
Can you show them your smile? Say, I love my subscribers. Say, I love you. Hello? Hello? Lip, lip, lip. You just want your binky, huh? You're a binky lover. Well, you guys, can you hear the white sound in the background? That means that there is a sleeping baby. I have been loving the yoga ball. I saw someone on Instagram like using their yoga ball to like bounce their baby. I've seen it over and over again on this person's Instagram story. And I was like, that's genius. But then I never ended up doing it. And today he was really, really cranky. So I was like, Julia, get the yoga ball. Tried it, instantly fell asleep. So I think it's because I was bouncing on the ball a lot while I was pregnant. Like those last like 10 weeks, I was just bouncing away so that's a life hack for you if you have a baby and they are grumpy or cranky and they like motion 10 out of 10 because you won't be standing hurting your back i don't know why i'm like talking about this it worked really well though so he is asleep in his mama room for a minute i'm going to try and get some other work done that i need to get done today but today's notification shout out goes to elizabeth ask to lowix we love you we love you how would you say this last name I don't know. I'm sorry. We don't I'm know how to so say I'm so sorry. Name. That is that is quite the last name. I don't know how to pronounce that. But we love you. Thanks so much for having the notifications turned on. For the rest of you, would also like a post. Why does my back look like that? Yeah. What the it's hunchback like of Notre Julia? Yeah. Yikes. <clears throat> if the rest of you would also like a post notification channel, all you gotta do is turn on your post notifications by clicking that bell icon next to the subscribe button. Ding ding. And then turn and then the and then turn them on. Leave and a comment. Comment. Then comment. Then you know you did it. You might be in our next video. Never know. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. What would you do if I just ruined them right now? <laughs> I would say that is the type of video I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you shocked me! Oh my god. Wow. we got so much electricity between us. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh.